understand. Yes, I'm trying to show you the um, how you pass the, the the rope. So you put the thread stand, put the thread on the thread stand on the side. You put it into this hole on the side. That's right. Into this hole, not on top of, not here. Into this hole. Put it into this hole. Now, why are you doing it? Remember, the presser foot must always be up when, when passing the thread. Make sure that the presser foot is up. Don't bring it down. Bring it down. The, the tension will up, be closed. So you raise the presser foot up. So when, when it has entered here, you pass it at the back of the tension. Okay? Then you bring it up into this place. Then the next is you raise the taking up up. This, then you pass the You pass the thread. So you put the rope in the taking up. The next is you take it straight to the needle as usual. The needle position is normal with the black head. From the left to the right. Okay, so the, the rope is in. So from here. To the back here. To the tension. To the taking up. Then to the needle. But make sure your, your pressure foot should always be up. If it's not up, the, the rope will not get into the tension. So it should always be raised up while passing the thread. This is as, as usual now. It, um, the roller and on the shuttle, you put like this. Please, watch this, watch this. Let the rope be like this. Don't, don't put it like this. Let the rope be this way. Be then, you, okay. then you put it this way. Then you cross it as usual. Then just like blackhead, you insert the the um, shuttle inside. So the next thing is to pick the thread. Please don't drag it like this. Allow the, the thread enough space so I can pick the thread from under. Okay, so we've picked the thread. You close. Okay, so now we are ready to sew. Okay, so in this in the sewing, if you want a stress stitch, this place should be in zero. If it leaves zero, it becomes zigzag. So this is always put it in zero for a straight stitch. This one is the position of the middle. So the, the position of the needle should always be at the middle. If you take it to the left, it moves the it moves the position of the, the needle to the left. If you take it to the if you take it to the to the middle, it moves it to the middle. If you take it to the right, it moves it to the right. So, but let it always be at the middle. Okay. Let it always be at the middle. So, like I said, here when it is zero, it is straight stitch. This is the stitch length regulator. Four is the highest, is the longest stitch. Why, if you want it smaller, you reduce it. So, let's so. You can see the machine is sandless and the stitch is very neat. Okay, if you want to go back, that is back stitch, you press this in, eh? it will start going back. If you want to come front, you leave it exactly. Okay, so let's try, let's try um, a zigzag stitch. Okay, so I'll move it to two or three anywhere. Okay, so I sew. So you see now it's zigzag. I can make it longer, wider. Zigzag stitch. Then if you want to go back stitch, take it back. Bring it front. So it depends on the wideness. If you want to reduce the stitch length, you reduce it. If you want to increase it, you increase it. So that's all for the stitches. Then I will show you now. Um, the next thing I will do, I will show you how to. So I'm using manual now. So come this way. For me to use this manual, I had to lose. I had to lose this. 
although if, if I'm if I'm going to this was the motor is here, this is the electric motor, and this was the the cord holding it. So you can you can equally close this when you when you've closed it. You can close it right, it becomes very neat. Okay. You can, I can close it and I'm where's the knot? Where's the plug? There is a, a knot here. So I can put the rope, then I will just tighten here. So, so it, it, it can still stitch like this. Okay. So whichever you want, you know, you will use more often. You will do it that way. Stop it. So use the electric, just like this one. You lose in here. You can decide to leave here permanently open if you wish to. So you lose this plastic. It's just um, covering it for for beautification. So you lose this plastic. Now this knot here controls controls the motor. Okay. okay. So what you simply do, you pass the the yes. rope yeah. in its position. So sorry. Before I do that, I should I should remove the manual rope first. So let me remove the manual rope first. Sorry. So I remove the manual rope. Then I'll pass this one. Pass this one in. So I'll raise the motor so that it will enter inside okay? okay then i'll push it down now if it is too tight if this is too tight the sewing will be slow if it is too tight the sewing will be slow so then i'll tighten this Okay, where are you changing the belts? Okay, so if, if I want to use the belt, let me remove again and put it back. I'll just raise the motor up, then I remove the belt. Then remove from it. I remove the belt, simple. So if I want to put back the belt, just as usual, I put the upside first. Mm? Okay. Smoothly. Then I put, I raise the motor. You must make sure that the belt is on the head. Let me. So you must make sure the belt is on the head, not, 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 not this first one. There's a second one now. It has entered. Okay. Yeah. So that is the groove. So you just raise the motor up. Then you put the belt. There, then you push down. Then you tighten. If it is too tight, it's going to be slow. So don't make it too tight. Okay. So you can comfortably cover now, so right? You can, yes, you can cover. When it is electric, you can always cover it. So you see where you see the right sitting of this thing. So I've plugged it to my source of current. Wait. It's loose. What's up? So if you want to, if you put the belt, I want to tighten it. Please, your thumb, put it on on this uh, 
where the belt is. This ruler, push it down because this thing needs to be tight. Don't push it from here, push it from here. Push it from here, down, then you tighten it. It gives you the right tens tension that you need for the machine to roll to smoothly. So, I can hear the sound now. Okay. Okay, so it's just on straight now. Let me reduce the stitch. So I I'm at Exactly. So that's it. Okay, so if you want to order this sewing machine, you can contact the number in the description box. See you in the next training video.